Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video. So in the last video, we implemented and improved our HLS streaming code. And now in this video, we are going to go ahead and add the navigation draw in our application. So I hope you already know how to do this, but if you don't, then follow along with me. But if you do, please go ahead and implement it by yourself and come back and watch the video, okay? So that way you'll get some practice. Let's go ahead and start implementing the navigation draw. And to implement the navigation draw, we're going to need the navigation menu, navigation header. Okay, so those are the two things we need. So, so I'm going to create the navigation in header in the resource layout here. Nav header. All right. I'll make few customization here. I'll give the height of 150 dp. Make the background black. That is the color of our app. Okay and i will just add the image view to add the logo of my application okay i'll give the 150 dp of height and i think that's all right okay so i'll just give 150 dp of height but if you want to customize in your own way you can do so okay let's go ahead and create the navigation menu so to create the menu we'll right click on the resource here and go to android resource file create menu from the drop down and we'll set the name as nav menu okay and our menu is going to have only two or three items but if you want to add more you can do so but i just want to add one home button and set the id set the name i'll add one more for the categories and here you can add uh, more buttons okay but i'm not going to do that because it's really not necessary for this but if you want to have more options there for your own application that please you are you can go ahead and add more buttons here but uh, i will add the icons for this menu so to add the icons i'll go to the vector asset create the new icon i'll select the source the home here and i'll create one more vector asset for the categories And to select the icon, go to this icon here and select your icon. And for this, I'll select this one. Okay. And now I'll just close all this here. Okay. We don't need this extra stuff. Okay. So here we have our home page at the activity main. Now here we need to add the drawer layout, right? So to be able to use the navigation drawer, we need to use the drawer layout. And uh, I actually can't use drawer layout here. So what I need to do is I will just create new layout inside this. And I'll name them as home layout. And what I'll do, I'll just copy the everything from this main activity layout to this home layout. Okay. And we'll just include that here. So let me change this to draw layout in our activity main. And I will remove everything else that we don't need. Okay. I will add the ID to this draw layout. Okay. Now we'll include the home layout that we have just created using include function okay so in that way we can access the layout in here in the activity main all right now we need navigation view so navigation view we'll make the match parent we'll set the header so we have nav header here okay We'll set the menu okay and now I'll set the ID and finally I'll set the layout gravity to start okay now we'll set this in our activity main here okay 
now i'll create the instance of drawer layout and i need action bar toggle and let's save the xmy resources so draw layout find view id added id drawer but to be able to use the draw layout we need to have that uh, toolbar okay so that's why let's create the toolbar here android x dot app compiler widget toolbar find view id added id the toolbar we already have the toolbar in our coordinator layout if you remember so set support action bar and set the toolbar okay now i'll create the instance of action bar toggle so toggle what's new action bar toggle and here we need to pass a few parameter draw layout toolbar and open and close the string open close okay i'll create this string i'll create another one okay now i'll enable the hamburger sign so toggle and add the listener to the draw layout and finally we'll sync the state of open and close okay now if we run this application we should see the navigation draw so let's try okay we do have the navigation draw but it is in black color so we are not able to see the navigation draw here so what i'll do is i will set the theme to our toolbar so let's go to our toolbar so we have our toolbar in home layout so let me select the toolbar so this is our toolbar i will set the theme to have compiled dark okay so let's try and run this again okay now you can see we are having the draw layout now let's go ahead and implement the event listener on this uh, item here in the navigation draw and to be able to do that we need to make use of navigation view so let's create the navigation view variable here and set the resources okay and we'll implement the navigation view here navigation view on navigation item selected listener okay and we'll implement the required methods okay and finally we need to set the listener to this navigation view here so navigation view dots on navigation item selected listener will pass the context okay now whenever the menu item is clicked let me remove this extra stuff now we can use if else condition to find out which item is clicked so r.id.home if home is clicked we'll do something if category is clicked We'll start the new activity where we will display all of our activity okay so i think in the next video i'm going to implement the categories because it's going to take a lot of time because we need to create the custom attribute for the categories we need to create custom model for the categories as well we will do that in the next video so i'll see you in the next one